and welcome back to my booktube channel books with leo and today i am here with a bit of a chill video don't know what this dance is this is my chill dance i should stop doing that my general idea for this video was to just unwind take my makeup off do a nice face mask i've got some iced tea in a wine glass because i'm bougie before you all think i'm drinking a ton of whiskey this is iced tea in a wine glass yeah, I didn't have any wine anymore, so this is what we're going with. I even brought some crisps. I'm so prepared. I have these really weird face masks. Wait. Peel off a gold mask for normal skin. Don't even know what that means. Normal skin. Do I even have normal skin? Oh, it's it's anti-aging. We love anti-aging. I'm, I'm only 22, but you know. Might need it. And to still make this video bookish, because I do really feel like a beauty YouTuber right now, um, I'm going to be talking about my TBR-ish, like books. I'm currently reading books I really want to read and just stuff like that. I don't really have a TBR, so like I, I don't really do TBRs because I'm a huge mood reader, but like this is just a little bit of TBR talk. So books I would really like to get to in the next couple of months. Let's get into it. I'm even wearing my big comfy sweater. So yeah, totally ready. I was filming this video, having a great time. And then I got up to grab a book and I found out my camera wasn't even recording. So unfortunately you guys missed all of the taking off makeup. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> sad because I think I made some fun footage. Unfortunately, you guys missed all of that, but we're continuing. Um, I have this, let me just update you guys on what you missed. My whole manner is just changing because I feel like a beauty guru and it's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm using this really old and gross, disgusting um, Revolution palette as a mirror because it has a really big more mirror, ugh, because it has a really big mirror, 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 mi mirror. Mirror. Mirror is like the most difficult word in the English language for me. Don't know why I'm not taking questions at this time. And yeah, so I just wiped down my face with some of these wipes to get like the general makeup off. And I was just talking about how I want to have more environmentally friendly makeup wipes, but I don't have any yet. So if you guys have tips, let me know. Um, and then I went on using these babies and some face tonic and I wasn't finished with that yet so I'm going to be continuing with face tonic. This is a face tonic by Daylon which is a Dutch brand I think. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to be using this to wipe off some excess filth that's still on my face. Um, <laughs> and whilst I'm doing that I'm going to be talking about what I'm reading at the moment again. I just did that but I'm going to be doing it again. So I'm currently reading Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon and I was just talking about how I really love Samantha Shannon's books but a lot of the time when I read her books I tend to not enjoy the first half of the books because I'm just super confused <laughs> so basically I'm too stupid no it's just I don't know in the beginning of her books I'm always very confused I like everything so I'm just reading and I'm just like oh I don't get it I want to stop but then if I push through and finish the book I always end up loving her books like absolutely adoring them um, so I do know that I have to continue on with Priory as well. Um, I really loved her Bone Season series. I read that in Dutch when I was quite young and they never translated the third book to Dutch. So I never read the third book. I don't know why they stopped translating them. It's so weird for a publisher to just stop in the middle of a series. I don't know why they did that, but they did do that. So, Aww. it's okay, I'm okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like scared as hell that my camera is not recording again right now. I just have to have faith in this world. Oh my god, look what's coming off of my face. I'm kind of sad that you didn't see me wiping off the original makeup because I think that would be so satisfying to look at. But I'm not giving up on this video just yet, so. I have to check the camera. I'm so anxious that it's not recording right now. <laughs> okay, it was recording. I'm being anxious for no reason. I have wiped down my face and I'm thinking of doing a face wash before I do the face mask. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna grab that, I guess. Be right back. Face wash music, face wash music, music. Ba, 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 ba. This video is so chaotic. 
Okay, so this is the face wash that I'm going to be using. I'm not trying to make fun of beauty YouTubers because I used to be a beauty YouTuber myself. <laughs> Cringy times. I like this one because it has a scrub, but it's not like so scrubby that your entire face turns into a tomato. Yeah, it's just a nice one. Um, I'm going to be putting on this headband to not get my hair dirty with face mask. <gasps> Okay, so I'm first going to be um, spraying some water on my face just so my face is not completely dry. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I feel like James Charles. <laughs> yeah, my face is very wet right now. Okay, let's get into it. So I was talking about, um, oh, I was talking about Priory of the Orange Tree um i can't do two things at the same time <laughs> i'm not that big of a multitasker so i should have thought about that before i started this video <laughs> so priory i am not really that into it yet but like i said before i always have this issue with samantha well i always have this issue with samantha shannon's books so probably i will get into it later and i'll just be like oh i actually enjoy this book now my friend kvidina she just finished priory last night and she texted me and she's straight but she was like oh my god i loved the queer romance it was amazing um so yeah she really loved it so i know i just need to push through because i always end up loving samantha shannon's books and you know what also makes her books great is that they are so complicated but like at the beginning i'm just constantly confused because they are so complicated and she has like this catalog of fantasy words in the back of her books and i read the catalog at the end which is kind of dumb but you know, that's just the way I am. So yeah, I need to push through and I will end up loving Priory, but right now I'm mainly just confused. I think Queen Sabran is such a bitch. I don't get it. She's so mean. She's really condescending and I don't like her. I don't understand what Tanae is doing with her dragons. Oh, spoilers by the way, sorry. <laughs> don't understand what Tanae is doing with her dragons. I don't understand anything. And yeah. I think Eid is very cool though. Eid, Eid, something, something like that. I think she's a very cool character and I do enjoy reading her perspective. But yeah, I don't really understand anything else yet. And I'm not sure who will be the Romans between, like whom will be with who. And because I know there's a female female Romans in this book. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, those are my thoughts as far as I am right now into Priory and I really hope I will end up loving it but I probably will because I always love Samantha Shan. I feel like I've said the same thing 200 times right now so it's time for more iced tea in my wine glass my face is so shiny right now oh my god the next book that I want to talk about whilst this is drying on my face is this will come as a surprise to a lot of you guys um I bought Crescent City by Sarah J Maas I know. I really never, like, I rarely talk about um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I was trash for that book. I loved it. I read it in almost one day. I think I read it in two. I remember being so engrossed in the story and, like, so... I loved it. <laughs> I was, like, enjoying it so much. But then I never continued the series and I never really felt compelled to, so... Then I kind of ended up hating it because I couldn't push myself to read the rest of it and I did have it on my shelves. I know, my logic is very flawed. But, um... My friend Quirina, who I mentioned earlier, me and her and my two other close friends, Sabine and Fleur, we were at the bookstore in Rotterdam yesterday, two days ago, I think. No, yesterday. We were there and we were looking through the bookstore and my friend Quirina was talking about some books that she read recently and she started talking about Crescent City because it was one of her absolute faves. And then I saw the heart cover, it was in the store. Wow. I'm less charming than James Charles when I do this. <laughs> she was talking about Sarah J Maas's book and I know she wasn't even trying to get me to read it but it was the hardcover with like the beautiful crescent on the cover and I was just like I need it. <laughs> so then I bought it. I've been on such a book buying spree lately like somebody stop me. I was very posh. Somebody stopped me but you know Nobody stopped me and I bought a lot of books. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really hoping I will like the Sarah J Maas book because I've, if I won't like it, then it will be kind of a waste of like my 30 euros, which is a lot of money for a book. That's another book that's on my TBR, weirdly enough. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, my face gets so sticky after I've used this. I think that's normal, but still. I'm just gonna wipe it down with one of these as well. Please don't follow this skincare routine because it's probably horrible. <laughs> like, I've got no idea what I'm doing, but you know. 
we're going with it. We're rolling with it. I do like wash my face every day and I still have a lot of pimples. Um, I do face masks every now and then, um, like I'm doing now. But I just like, I like the weird face masks, like the ones that grow or have glitters or art goals, you know. The ones that probably don't do your skin any favours. <laughs> Those are the ones I like. And another book that I bought at the bookstore two days ago is The Good Luck Girls by Charlotte Nicole Davis. And this book, I, to be honest, I bought this book mostly because the cover was so pretty and shiny, like, and gold foil. <laughs> and I recently made some gold foil bookmarks for my Etsy and I just really wanted a gold foil book and this cover was gorgeous. I know, um, such a sin. But this book also sounds really interesting. When Asta's sister Clementine accidentally kills a man, the, ris the girls risk a harrowing journey to find to find freedom, justice, and revenge in a country that wants them to have none of those things. Pursued by powerful forces, both, both living and dead, their only hope lies in a story passed from one girl to another, a story that only the most desperate would ever believe. It's going to take more than luck for them all to survive. That sounds absolutely epic. And so yeah, I picked this up as well. <laughs> I don't really know what it's about further, but yeah, it's shiny, it sounded cool, and now I own it. I hope I love it. And also it's it's pretty, like it's fairly short for a fantasy and I like that. So that's also why I was very enthusiastic about this book. Uh -huh. Okay, I think right now it's time to do the actual face mask because my face feels dry again. Um, so let's see. I'm going to use my weird face mask right now. I didn't know this came with an actual manual or is this like a warning? <laughs> I'm about to die. It says, pay attention, this mask could Take off facial hair. That will be a pity. Wouldn't want to lose my moustache. I'm <laughs> just going to put this on. It comes in a really cute, sa a really cute tiny thing. So I want to say sachet, but I don't know if that's a word. Sacket. A sa a oh, it's on there in English on the bag. Bag. I don't want to ruin this sweater, so I'll have to go about this strategically um, with the mirror and everything. And let me just think about what books I can talk about whilst I'm doing. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty, actually. Right, another book that I recently bought is The Black Fiends by Asha Monet. I also follow Asha on Twitter and also on Instagram because she is so aesthetically pleasing. Oh my god. Her hair, she has like this one wig, I think it's a wig, and it's just so beautiful. It's like all pastel -y, peachy pink and it looks so good on her, but okay, I'm not, <laughs> not here to talk about the writer, even though Asha Monet is so aesthetically pleasing. Um, but I recently bought her book called The Black Fanes, and this is about a found family, a magical found family, and it's also queer, I think the main character is bi, and it's like a magical road trip thing, and it's like seven guardians with magic, and it sounds so cool. Um, yeah, I discussed it in my Sephic Reads that I really need to or really want to read video as well. And yeah, I'm just so looking forward to picking up that book when I finally have the time. But as you guys heard, there's like a gazillion books on my TBR, so don't know when I'm getting to that. There's not a lot of face mask in this bag, or maybe I'm just not doing it right. Oh, there we go. All this stuff is probably really bad for your skin. <laughs> not good at all. Oh my god, look at that. That's so shiny. Um, but yeah, so The Black Fangs is a book that is really high on my TBR as well. What else? Let me think. Hmm. All right. So I have, um, I have the Southern uh, Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, or... Yeah, that's the name. <laughs> it's right here behind me. I recently bought that one as well because I had a peach on the cover and it looked cute. And I'm a simple soul. I see a cute cover with a peach. I buy. So I bought that book. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I liked Grady Hendrick's other book, but I thought there was like a bit of sexism in it, um, or maybe that's just me being very critical. Um, but I didn't, I didn't always enjoy the way he wrote women. Um, but I thought his book was brilliant nonetheless, so I had to pick up this one because in the introduction he writes about how he sort of thought of pitting serial murderers and vampires against his mother, or something like that, which just sounded very cool. <laughs> so. I was like, okay, I want to read that. I want to read Housewives Combat Vampires, basically. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was very enthusiastic and I picked it up. Also in that time, I was listening a lot to My Favourite Murder by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hartstark, which is one of my favourite podcasts. I'm a total murderino. Um, and yeah, so I was 
in a mood to learn about like serial killers and stuff and so when I found a book that had that as a theme in it I was just very hyped and a book that is also very high on my TBR is This Coven Want a Break by Isabel Sterling which is also behind me that's the sequel to These Witches Don't Burn which was one of my favourite books of last year about gay witches in a coven who are battling a blood witch and yeah that book was just really cool so that's also a book that I'm anticipating um, well, not anticipating because it's behind me on my shelves. <laughs> just haven't gotten to it yet because I have a lot of books on my TBR. So, like, I, I don't really do a set TBR like I said before because I'm really bad at them and I almost never stick to them. Uh, so I don't bother anymore. <laughs> but what else is there to talk about? Hmm. I am doing a webshop update soon. Maybe when this video is online, the shop update has already happened. So that's really exciting. Oh, I can feel a mask like pulling on my face. Very weird sensation. I'm really excited for that. And I made tote bags for the webshop and I'm even more excited about other tote bags than about anything else. I also made holographic stickers and glitter stickers and just a lot of cool stickers in general. I can't wait to finally get everything online, but I'm still waiting for some pins to get in uh, the mail. So I just want to put everything online at the same time because that works best. In other news, I can finally go pole dancing again tomorrow. I haven't gone to the studio. Well, I did do open training the past couple of weeks, but before that, it had been three months since I had done any aerial circus training or pole. Um, I've been doing pole and aerials for over two years now and it's one of my favorite things to do in my free time. I also perform sometimes and I just love it. I love everything. I love the pole community. I love the aerial sling community, the circus community. Everybody's just amazing. And it's, yeah, it's just my favorite sport ever. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to my first pole class in three months and I'm so excited because it has been such a long time. And I'm just really hyped that I get to see all my pole friends again and I get to pole dance again and yeah I'm just really happy. I know this is not really TBR talk but I just I want to share some things from my life. I love how I'm almost acting drunk but I'm not because this is iced tea. Oh my face feels so weird. Thought I might just as well talk about another book whilst my face is drying. And that is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. I also picked this one up at the bookstore. I am planning on filming a book haul so you'll see like all these same books in that book haul but that's okay. This is also so a female female fantasy romance and I don't know a lot of other things about it other than that it's like it's about a girl who is a king's consort I think there's not anything else that I know really but the cover is lovely I've only heard good things about this and just anything queer anything female female give it to me I was considering turning my tinder bio into I'll be reading queer fantasy books all summer how about you but then I thought that might be dorky so I didn't do it <laughs> But okay, that was my little note on this. I think my face is ready. Oh, that is so weird. That is really weird. It's time to take this baby off. It's already coming loose at the edges. <gasps> oh my God. It does come off pretty well, actually. Okay, so that sort of took out my eyebrow. Well, it's okay, it's okay. I'm making such a mess, you guys. Okay, so now that I've got most of that off, my face does actually feel very soft, but there's just face mask left on absolutely every surface. I also kind of look like I've been in the sun for too long, but it's okay. We're dealing with it. Okay, okay. I think that's plenty of face masking for today. Um, before I go, I just want to say that I've called this video, or I'm planning on calling this self-care and books or something like that, but I do want to make it very clear that doing face masks is not self-care, like it can be self-care of course. It's much harder to actually take care of yourself and take care of your mental health, and as somebody who deals with mental health issues herself regularly, unfortunately, um, I just want to make that very clear that self-care is not always easy and fun and like face masks and wine but sometimes it's reflecting and working through difficult situations with a therapist or a counsellor so I just want to make that very clear and yeah I just really hope you enjoyed this video of me doing face masks and talking about books and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!